everyone. I am here with Tony Revolori, yeah. Flash in Spider-Man Homecoming. So yes, yes. Um, we are talking live to the Marvel fans right now. Hi, how are you guys doing? So you yourself are a longtime comics fan, right? Yes, I am. Uh, a huge fan, been a fan for a while, and this is like a, a childhood dream come true. So here's the thing. Every good high school movie needs a bully, but I wouldn't call you a traditional bully. So tell me a little bit about Flash in this movie and what you wanted to bring to that. Um, you know, I had conversations with John Watts, our director, and bullies like that don't really exist anymore, the physical bullies. So we wanted to see what, what is the type of bully that exists now, and that's mostly cyber bullies. So how do you personify a cyber bully? And that's basically our challenge with Flash. How do you make it... How do you make a bully like that? Um, and so we had a bit of a challenge figuring it out, but you know, we in the end did it, and in the end it became more of like a rival out of jealousy. Well, I will say Tom Holland made a pretty great entrance to the carpet. How are you feeling about that? <laughs> I think he did fantastic. I know I could never pull anything like that off, so I'm glad he did. You know, with his flips and all that, I'm just, I'm just wondering how he got it off so quickly and changed. He's got another special superpower. Something else, um, you are a musician as well, right? I am, yeah. So you play, you DJ. We get to see you DJ in the film. <laughs> um, if there was a playlist, what would you have loved to have played? Oh. Like your own personal opinion, not Flash, but Tony. Oh, from Tony at that party. I guess it would start with, uh, you know, Biggie's Juicy. Go to uh, Keep Your Head Up by Tupac. Nice. Then maybe some Ooh La La by Faces. I'm going to hire you to do my next party. Please, by all means. I'm looking for work, you know. Sadly, not working right now. I don't think that's going to be a problem after this film. Um, last question for you. You know, I know you guys, they had you watch a lot of John Hughes films. Was there a particular character that you felt uh, pulled towards when you were watching them? Um, yeah, Emilio Estevez's character in uh, Breakfast Club, you know. Um, I just love that he was like a, a jock out of, you know, societal pressures and I think that's somewhere where flashes stem from you know his father beating putting pressure on him and telling him you know you have to be a man you have to be the best and I think that happens a lot about uh, a lot nowadays so there shouldn't be that pressure to be a man because a man is just anyone well I've been a fan since Grand Budapest Hotel congrats on tonight and have a thank wonderful time thank you uh, hopefully please check it out July 7th homecoming